Today you'll learn how to create motion blur frame slide transition. It's easier than you think, so let's go. First up, create an adjustment layer and place it above your footage. Now go in the middle of two clips, so it's three frames above the first clip and three frames over the second one. That's six frames in total. Next, we are adding a little movement. To do that, apply directional blur on the adjustment layer, set the direction to 70, then keyframe blur at the start and at the end to zero, then increase it to 50 right in the middle. As you can see, we have edges because we applied blur so to remove it apply alpha adjust and uncheck ignore alpha that will clean it up nicely and remove those edges now we are adding a little flash i'm going to use brightness and contrast for that and once again keyframe it at the start and at the end to zero then in the middle you can change the brightness to 50 and the contrast to 25 you can increase it even more if you like more intense flash just play with it okay let's apply lens distortion and do the same thing so make the keyframes at the start and at the end to zero and decrease it to minus 50 in the middle this will sell the effect even more okay now drag your second clip above the first one and extend both so the second one you want to extend it till the start of the adjustment layer and the first one you want to extend it until the end of the layer now apply transform move three frames keyframe position then go back to the start and drag it to the right until it's out of the screen increase the shutter angle to 180 this adds so much more energy to the effect now the easiest part is just duplicate the adjustment layer in between the clips, extend the videos like you did the first time and copy and paste transform effect to the rest. Now I'm going to add my new editing pack, flash cut. I think that it goes really well with this style. I'll put the link at the top of the description, that way you can go to my website easily and get it. So you're just going to drag one template, there are 4K and HD resolutions and horizontal and vertical formats, so just choose whatever fits your project. Drag the template in the timeline and you'll see folders for each photo and all you're going to do is replace your images. Just drag and drop them in each photo placeholder and that's it basically you'll end up with this effect in less than a minute. If you love fast effects, if this is your editing style, then I would highly recommend you check it out. It's for everyone who's looking for high quality assets that are easy to use and fully customizable, so links in the description. That's it, hope you learned something new today. If you want more tutorials like this one, make sure to subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram, I post tutorials there as well and I just started editing tips, something like a mini series that I'm trying out at the moment and if you guys like it, I'll keep doing it alongside of the regular tutorials of course. So I'm posting new New tutorials every Tuesday and editing tips every Thursday. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, yeah, a lot going on, <laughs> I guess. Okay, go make something cool and I'll see you in the next video.